If you've noticed interesting park benches and chairs around town lately, you've seen the fruits of the Public Art Initiative project. These works of art brought several area schools together with regional and local artists in order to create pieces that will enhance the town's 2020 preparations. The project took off under the inspired direction of town planner Robin Carver. PCN met up with the project participants at the unveiling at the Plymouth Center for the Arts. Yeah, this is the opening reception um, for an initiative uh, by the town of Plymouth and uh, town planner Robin Carver. And uh, the reason why the schools are involved is because Robin came to us and said, um, would the schools like to be involved and have some student work? So we have, uh, I think, five pieces here, uh, two from South High School, two from North High School, one from um, Nathaniel Morton Elementary School, uh, where students designed and, and painted uh, the, the furniture. Uh, well, uh, it's, it's public art, and, and we have um, Adirondack chairs and um, tables, uh, picnic tables to be put outside, and benches. And so I think it was a pretty open theme, and just uh, themes or imagery that was related to Plymouth. So there's a lot of ocean uh, themes, there's a lot of fishing, there's a lot of uh, underwater and above water and things about Plymouth. I think it's just a, a great opportunity for the public schools to get involved directly with the town uh, in art projects, which we've done over the years, but to actually do artwork and put it out in the public so people, tourists and, and people from around the town can actually see the talent and the, and the artistic ability of uh, people and students particularly that uh, live here in Plymouth. I think it's fabulous. I think uh, this is a first of many uh, public art opportunities. Uh, Robin Carver has done a great job uh, working with the schools, working with the artists and the, and the guild uh, to bring public art out into the town of Plymouth. Well, we're excited that we were able to collaborate with the town to um, continue our mission of promoting arts. And, uh, and this has become uh, being a public art initiative. This is just, ex for us, it just uh, it expands and, and, and increases, you know, certainly the visibility of what we do to have um, these wonderful benches, uh, Adirondack chairs and picnic tables, uh, you know, being so colorful out on the, out, out on the, out on the town, um, you know, waterfront and Main Street or wherever they may be, that uh, it just speaks to the whole art community here. We have a um, tremendous, uh, we have the new Plymouth Bay Cultural District, which is made up of galleries and restaurants and music uh, performance spaces and that this just goes to show you that there's more to Plymouth than just the rock. Today is the public unveiling. Uh, all the artists brought their work you know, to our gallery so that we can have them in one place for everybody to, uh, to see for the first time and then also to recognize the artists themselves for all the work they have done. So it gives us a chance to thank them and see them before they get dispersed because uh, they're going to be in many, many places so we, we have a way of looking at them side by side. It's just like going to any fine gallery uh, you know, um, reception and seeing the artwork for the first time. It's a wonderful thing. Mostly I think there's a lot of people who in town here and in this art center who give a lot of time to the town and to you know, initiatives like this and they really need to be thanked because this is what brings us together. It's our culture. Uh, it, it, it knows no boundaries. The people who do this are, are wonderful people and we need to thank them all.